Hello my friend, good to see you again. This is Miss Catherine Liu Boos. Thank you, continue support of Christian Ministry, Gospel Music Ministry, and the Biblical Preserve Preaching, Teaching Online. Today we will focus on the Old Testament uh, book of uh, Genesis 26. And that is a focus on the Isaac. What can we learn from the historical event? What kind of a wisdom that teaches us and we could learn from their experiment to deal with outside door and even control and handle, arrange our nation. Learn from the Isaac in the Genesis chapter 26. Um, if you have a Bible, open your Bible chapter 26. That is uh, discovered. Now there was a female in the land beside the earlier female of Abraham's time, and Isaac went to Amimelech, king of the Philistines in Jura. The Lord appealed to Isaac and said, Do not go down to Egypt, leave in the land where I tell you to leave. Stay in this land for a while, and I will be with you, and will bless you. For to you and your descendants I will give all these land, and will confirm the off I swore, I swore to your father, Abraham. I will make your descendants as numbers as the star in the sky, and will give them all this land. And through your offspring, all nations on earth will be blessed, because Abraham obeyed me and kept my requirements, my commands, my decrees, and my law. So Isaac stayed in the Jura, in the uh, verse 1 to 6. And Isaac became rich and very wealthy in that place. Isaac planted a corpse in the land and the end, the same years uh, ripped a uh, hundredfold because the Lord blessed him. The man became rich and his wealth continued to grow until he became very wealthy. And he had so many frogs and earth and servants that the Philistines envy him. See, when you grow stronger in rich in property and prosperity and all the provision come down from heaven, the Lord bless you. You give a lot of envy and jealous. Prepare yourself. So all the wells that his father's servant had dodged in the time of his father, Abraham, the Philistines stop up, fill them with earth. And then Amalekai say to Isaac, the king of the uh, Philistines forces Isaac and because they envy him. Then uh, the king of the Philistines um, Abimelechai say to Isaac, Move it away from us. You have become too powerful for us. Move it away from us. You have become too powerful for us. The verse 16. So Isaac moved it away from there and encamped in the valley of Jura and settled there. Isaac reopened the wells that had been dodged in the time of his father Abraham, which the Philistines had to stop up after Abraham died. And he gave them the same name his father had given them. The herdsmen of Jura quarrel over with Isaac. Now Isaac handled another quarrel comes from different uh, area. Now Isaac's servant dodged in the valley and discovered a well of fresh water there. But the herdsmen of Jura quarreled with Isaac's 
herdsman and said, The water is ours. So he named the world Aesop means convention because they disappear with him and then Isaac's servant again they dodge another world but they quarrel over that one also so he named it Sisna means enmity this is in the verse 19 to 21. And Isaac moved on. Isaac moved on and the Dutch another world. See how many times the people come in to quarrel with Isaac. And he moved on from there and Dutch another world. Until no one quarrel over it. He named it Rehoboth means plenty of room saying now the Lord has given us room and we will flourish in the land verse 22 from there he went up to Beersheba the night the Lord appeared to him and said I am the God of your father Abraham. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. you will I will bless you and will increase the number of your descendants for the sake of my servant Abraham. Verse 24. The God's promises and the blessing overcome the enemy. Isaac built an idol there and called on the name of the Lord. Abimelech had come to him from Jura with a hazel, with a, his personnel advisor and Fickle, the commander of his forces. Isaac asked them, Why have you come to me? Since you were hostile to me and sent me away, why you? Why have you come to me? Since you were hostile to me and sent me away, what their intention? And they answered, "We saw clearly that the Lord was with you. We saw clearly that the Lord was with you. So we said." They ought to be a sworn agreement between us, between us and you. Let us make a, a treaty with you, that you will do us no harm, just as we did not molest you, but always treat you well and send you away in peace. And you are blessed by the Lord. See, the king of Philistines want to make a treaty with Isaac because they discover the Lord is with them. Wherever they go, they gain the prosperity and riches. They cannot force them. They cannot defeat them. So eventually they make an agreement with them, make a treaty with them, and do no harm to each other and leave a peace on the land. Isaac then made a feast with them and they ate and drank. Earlier the next morning the men swore on earth to each other. Then Isaac sent them on their way and they left him in peace. Verse 30. That day Isaac's servants came and told him about the oil that they had to dodge. They said, we have found the water. See, they found the water. They have one found the water. They have found the water again. And he called it Sheba. Means off. And until this day, the name of the town has been Beersheba means well of the seven. That means well of the seven. Or of the off. 
what is the historical event, the life implication to us through the chapter Genesis chapter 16 verse 1 to 35. Here, first, when you face conflict, when you move into the new territory, new place, or new property, and you gain more riches and wealthy. However, you face a lot of conflict, and you need to deal the consequences of fellowship. Learn from Isaac. Okay, this is the first. The first, what the life implication? First, when you face conflict and dealing with consequences of a fellowship, people may envy and jealous about your riches and wealthy and intended to quarrel over the property and treasures. I encourage you to learn from Isaac. First, keep your heart steadfast and trust in the Lord's promises. Don't quarrel over it, but move it on from there to somewhere else until you find the place no one quarrel or dispute with you. Second, be aware of God's covenant to promises that have been fulfilled since Abraham's era. By faith, you are descendants of Abraham and earned the inheritance. Third, once you practice godly manner and obey God's decree, you will arouse worldly people jealous and envy and disagreement. You can never gain the whole world over to agree with you. Don't be aroused by their disagreement or dispute over the things. As Isaac that them to have the world, world or water and you move it on. For God will Provide the better one for you. And what is the political implication in this historical event? Though militarily and politically superior, the king of Philistines, Abimelech, realized that God's blessing and protection to Isaac through the Abraham, even though he envied Isaac and force him to move it away. However, to the end, he admits that God is with Isaac because of the com covenant, because of the covenant to Abraham had fulfilled and it had passed down to Isaac. Therefore, the king Abimelechite sought an agreement from Isaac to live in peace, the treaty which had done the same with Abraham in the Genesis chapter 21 verse 22 to 32. If you are a servant of God, like Abraham, Isaac, you should serve the Lord faithfully, obey his commands, decree, and the law. Most important is to trust in the Lord's promises. Let the Lord reveal His blessing and fulfill His purpose and fulfill His promises. In due time, the peace settlement will be revealed. The battle will be gained by the Lord. This is an amazing historical event through Isaac, how he deal with those quarrelsome over the property, over the land. We should learn from the historical hero. In the Old Testament and New Testament, we enable us to gain the wisdom from above, how to deal with the enemy and to settle in peace treaty and live a peace with one another as another scripture say that if a man pleased God, he even make his enemies live peace with 